What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am yeah, George. Yeah, welcome back to the channel. We got George here. Unbelievable. Anyway, we got a special guest. Very special. Wesley Bryan, PJ Tour winner, my brother, former trick shot artist. We're going to have a one on one, head on head match today. Lexington Country Club. Head on head. No, no, keep it. No, we just keep it going. We're we're gonna have a little match going. George versus me. Thinks he's got a chance. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say he's gonna have to make a lot of birdies. Uh, we're just gonna do nine holes, and uh, we'll see how this thing ends up. Lead the oh, way, sir. First. By the way, it's a Gamecock tee. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dope. Extra golf ball in my back pocket. Two off the first in case you need it. And this will be a weekly series, hopefully, so tune back in, subscribe, and uh, good luck, Wesley. Pounded. That is center strike, boys. Full one, par five, dog left, nice shot. All right. Oh, that is a nice, that's a beautiful little cut. Yep. How do you feel about that? Um, gonna be 20 yards behind you, but that's fine. Jittery George, what are you just bouncing around? You nervous? I'm trying to find my tee, bro. Okay, yep, keep bouncing around there, bud. 235 uphill, going with hybrid. Just played it safe. All right, Wesley did bomb past me, he's got 220. We're gonna have to juice a four iron. Going four iron. Right now. Pins just over those bunkers, you see. And of course, it goes right at it. Front of the green, really just stuck in between clubs. Well played. That gum, the greens are fast. For sanitary reasons, we're keeping the flag stick in today. The cups are upside down, so we're just gonna have to work through that. Well, you're waiting, I'll just go ahead. Pace of play is very important these days. Good birdie. Good birdie. Thank you. Ah, whole square. That was big. How far we got? Hole two. Par three. It is 142 playing 148. That yard is brought to you by Bush now. I got the eight and the nine iron. Wind's just dead off the left. So about 150-ish shot. 150-ish shot. I'm gonna hit nine iron. It's very nice. <laughs> Looks about five feet. Slight left of that pin. Stuff one in there. Shot. I'm going with the nine iron as well. All right. He's aimed a little bit right. He's holding the draw into this one. This looks real nice. I might have made it. Oh my gosh. That, that might be in. Just take off running. Keep it live. Keep it live. Take off running. Take off Guys, running. I might have made a hold in one. Oh, ah. I'm, I'm long. I'm actually closer. I'm long. Georgie boy got all excited about maybe making a hole in one and he didn't even hit it inside me. Okay, whatever. Mine looked And up. I got a straight uphill look at it. It's fine. Mm. Goodness. Good pot. Let's see for birdie. Good two hundred through two. Dodge the bullet. That is a tough pill to swallow there. Dodge the bullet because he usually doesn't ever miss those. Well, Thank I you. Mean, like, look at that thing on replay. You're gonna see it right in the middle of the hole to the very end, and it just jams to the right and lips out. Hole three here. Somehow we both missed both those birdies, but such is golf. We must move on. Short par four, what's the going through it off the tee, dead straight downhill. That's pretty. 
and we have found ourselves in the right trees. Come back! Seeing the wind not push my ball to the left. I guess it's gonna take a little bit farther left here. And he's hit a beautiful little cut right down the High pipe. High spinny cut, but you know what? That Straight. is that is in prime position there. Thanks, Wesley. All right, Wesley, give us a 10 second or 15 second bio. So a lot of people know you from the trick 10 shots. 10 second or, or 15 seconds. What, what you been up to the last six years? Ooh, last six years. Well, I did some trick shots. I got on the what was the web.com tour at the time. I did that whole process, got to the PGA Tour. Um, Fulfilled a dream of mine by winning on the PGA Tour at the RBC Heritage. And currently in a lockdown, just practicing and playing every single day. Uh, not every day, about three to four days a week. Ends up there. How far you have? 148. 148. Dowley, this thing clipped a little tree and kicked on in here. Good shot. Good shot. The left. Got 105 downhill into the wind. I'm gonna play about 102 shot. Try to get up about 10 feet short. I guess I'll take three feet to the right long. Mostly for birdie. Uphill right to left. Good snapper, Magoo. That's a good putt. I found myself in a position where, more than likely, I'm about to go one down through three. Take a straight back through. Nice putt right in the middle. Thank you. That's a real easy birdie. I mean, drive right down the middle, wedge to four feet, and then just tap it right on in. Well, I did learn from the best. I yeah, had... it is better than hitting it in the woods and then hitting it to 15 feet and then hitting a quack hook and missing it left and on to the next. How far? 41 playing 49. Just going with hard pitch wedge. Probably going to come up a little bit short, but better than being long. Definitely got the hook going on that one. Yeah, 30 feet short left, up the hill putt. Oh, such a pure swing. It's a little right. Gets a left kick. I mean, for a bad shot, that's going to be pretty decent. He's yeah. not going to like it, but I would take it. Uh, rules, well, rules are rules, huh? Yeah, rules. Oh, it flipped in! Nice catch, Hall. Nice catch. Good putt. Just cold blooded when it comes to the flat stick. Mm. After four holes, both two under par, all square. All square. All square heading to five. All right, Wesley. So you're on the 18th hole at Harbor Town. Have a one or two stroke, two stroke lead, knowing you need just par. a one stroke lead. One stroke lead, just knowing one stroke lead. par wins it. How nervous are you? Well, I will be honest. If there is any hole that you want a one-stroke lead, knowing you have to hit the fairway, that is the hole that is going to bring out the least amount of nerves possible. It's about 95 yards wide. And given the distance I hit it, I can't get through the fairway out on that little peninsula thing. So really, it was just kind of stay afloat, keep a pulse, and just make contact with the ball, and it was going to go in the fairway. And then after that, wind off the right gets a little bit nervy with a with an eight iron in there. Shoot, the I mean, green, but heck, I get nervous just playing in front of the camera in front of Wesley. I can't imagine leading a PJ Tour event. So here we are, hole five. This is one of the straightest holes in Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah, good hole, long uphill. Just like that. That is center stripe. Little Healy. Here's the shot tracer. No respect. Right in the middle of fairway. I mean, come on. 153 uphill. I'm gonna play about a 165 165 yard shot. Um, let's see what happens. 
It's also going to come up about five yards short. A little bit. Probably like 30, maybe 40 feet long left. Got scared. What do you got? Let's say I got 135 uphill, a little into the fan. I'm going to play at every bit of 150 here. That is really nice. Yep, that's like uh. So. That's why he's a freshman golfer on the PJ Tour and a great brother. That's right why there. I'm a. That's why he's a great brother. Nope, that's why I'm a semi-professional gambler right now. Yikes! Need that. Good bird, bud. No right jiggle, huh? That's five minus three for me. Minus two for Wesley. This is where this it's is the not, fun stretch. It's not really going how I hoped it would go. Well, that's fine. It's going how I, how I would hope it goes. How it, I would have hoped it went. I don't know. I'll just stop talking. It's going how I would have hoped it would be going. There, I did it. Yes. So the line here, zoom in on the oh, little birdhouse up there. Is right over the birdhouse. Oh, that is well it. right of the birdhouse and oh, going no. right and the wind is blowing it right. Oh. Four! Four right! Oh no. I don't know if that's in the hazard or not. It looked like it was hit dainty enough to be fine. <laughs> that's even farther right than yours. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so you can see the pin right there over that bunker. We found a terrible lie with mud on the ball. I mean, that's what you get for hitting it 40 yards right of the fairway, 20 yards right of the fairway. Oh, that is so sick. That is delightful. Oh, and the man, right that spin. Was satisfying there. <laughs> Here's my divot because I am an idiot and didn't film that shot. I blocked it from here and went right of the green. So, honestly, I was just saving you guys from watching a blocked nine iron that ended up 40, 50 feet right of the pin. You're welcome. <laughs> He's actually a very experienced dump and runner, so don't look for this one to check up very much. The old dump. Oh. Not enough run. Kind of uh, club grabbed a little bit. He kind of did one of those. Dick. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, I just, just gave up on a little bit. God, this would be a phenomenal bird. Not really sure what it's doing. It's going to move a little left at the beginning, maybe a hair right at the end. Or actually, the exact opposite. Are you kidding me? Let's go! Are you kidding me right now? Boom! God. How much luck? This is what I've had to deal with 30 years of my golfing life just luck after luck after luck. Now. 30 years? I'm not even 30 years old. That happens in two days, or one day, tomorrow maybe. So everyone wish him a happy birthday. What day is today? Today's the uh, 25th, one day yep. before your birthday. Tomorrow, birthday. Happy early birthday. A pretty dicey little seven and a half, eight footer for par to avoid the dreaded two shot swing. His practice stroke was a little right. God. And that putt just snapped. You. Just snapped on oh. him. Two stroke swing is uh, next hole. You just cannot make those mental mistakes. They weren't so much, well, not so much as mental mistake, it's just two bad shots in a row at the wrong time. And then Wesley happens to drop a 40 or 30 foot bomb. But uh, one down with three to play. I got this. Hole seven, dog leg right, par five, slightly. Into the wind. It's definitely reached below. bring the trajectory down and tick. Cut off that big tree, you see? That was pure perfection. A little spinny, I should have carried that bunker, I think. Carried it. Fairway. 
Put a three wood in probably. Got 235 up the hill. I'm gonna hit a hybrid just to try to get it on the front of the green. I might be able to get it back there if I hit it good. What's the draw? No, uh, off the right. That's it. Found myself just right of fairway. Uphill, a little into the wind. Right in between clubs, 215. I'm gonna hit a little soft cut hybrid. We got the soft and the cut. Come and join me. We also got the, uh, the top. Here we go. In the yeah. mini shank. Not gonna be pleased with that one. Watch out camera. This one could be knifed as well. And he's played a peach. As I said, looks can be deceiving. I mean, I didn't play it to go right. I just didn't think it was going to break that much. Great, great pars there. I needed that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send one. I'm going for the old high draw bomb here. Before I move this thing. Nice. That is hammered. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be catching that one. That floaty spinny cut's not gonna end well here when the viewers see how much farther this drive could be past yours. I want him to reach back into a place unknown. Oh, and he did hammer one. We're gonna find out. Very nice ball there. So you're averaging 29 and a half on this front nine. Yeah. Today you're only three under. I think you're that during your camera. It's been months since you've played in front of the TV. Months? How about years? Years. Bud? And we're we got you back on camera, and you're just three under, which is good. But I think this is good for you. You need to get, feel those nerves again. Yeah, I'm feeling them. I'm feeling <laughs> the nerves right now. All right, I'm not an angles guy or math guy, but from this angle, I think I got him. Uh, There's Wesley's ball. Absolutely fall. Look at the angle of the tee box. Oh, I'm kidding. I know. I know. I know. This is about the angle. My ball, Wesley's ball. He got me about a few yards. There you go. You hit a sling my hook. Rolled backwards. Your ball oh my forwards. god! Anything else? That's all this guy does. What? That is horrific. That one eighty. Oh, we got sixty-three yards. A little bit downwind. Probably gonna land it like 60, have it skip up. Maybe put a little jazz sauce on it. You were a couple feet away from being really good, but I, yeah. I missed it by like two yards. Lee. Oh, right in the Left center. it woefully short. speed and he has it. It's a good stroke. Speaking of putts to ice it, this one doesn't go in. Good putt. Needed that. That was a little nervy, not gonna lie. He's got a chance though. Hope for is a chance. I mean low key, I was kind of nervous on that putt because I had to play it outside the cup if I miss it. I mean, there's no way I'm making up two strokes on Wesley in the last hole. Well, there's a way, but still. Just had to trust my line and hit a good stroke, and I did. So, off to nine. I'm two under. Wesley's three under. Let's see what happens. Here, good drive and a good iron shot. To claim his first victory on any tour in, what, two years? Three years? Four years? Because uh, this... Yeah, shoot, I guess three years. The, the weekly Brother vs. Brother match is a tour. It's a sanctioned tour on YouTube. Uh, we got hole nine uphill about 420 par four and he unleashes an absolute cannon up the right side drawing with the wind left center of the fairway holy cow that's hit good 
after hitting the fairway right here, all we can really hope for is a tie. And that's just if everything goes right for him here. A little pulley, but be right there with you, left out of the fairway. I mean, those balls are going to be right beside each other. Or yours is way past mine. Yikes. Oh. All right, uh, there's my ball. Hey, Wesley, where, where'd I hit it? Oh, yes, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, you hit it past me. <laughs> Bombed it. Like right. I said, I towed it. Whatever, you hit it good. But I do have a driving range number, 130. It's, a, it's dead uphill. 130, so what are you playing it as? Downwind. I'm probably going to play it right at the number. Okay. Or do I go for the hard, hooky gap wedge and really just take bogey out of the plot, or out of the equation? Oh, we'll see. We're going with gap wedge. And I hit a daggone peach. No. Oh no. Oh, that's bad news for George. Oh no. That's real bad news. We got 121. I'm gonna play about a, well, it's playing 125. I'm gonna play about a 120 ish shot. Start out there to the right. Play my draw. Oh, and he might have done it, folks. Oh man, he might have done it. I'm, we have a chance. Oh, that's God. all I know. Rangefinder. That's all you can hope for in this situation, the chance. I have done it, or I think I have. Who knows, I might be over the green when we get up there, but I don't think so. It's fine. Do know where Wesley, is. me, I'm gonna get a good read of this. This could be very beneficial. Wesley has it for the win. Probably gonna make it, because that's what he does to me. He just hurts my feelings all the time. Wesley to finish four under. Secure the victory. And he pulled it. No, no, oh, it didn't break. Straightened up again. It's straightened up. I've got a chance. I've got a chance. For the tie. But everybody knows the situation, George. Let's go. How do we end in a tie? Match one? That is the all worst. square. No blood. Wow, cloud nine, to say the least. That um, is the absolute worst. That's the worst. Match number one is in the books. We tied, both shot three under. Both play. I played okay. Wesley is not happy. Um, but thanks, thank you all for watching. Um, subscribe, like this video. There's gonna be more to come, so stay updated. We gotta do something to keep Wesley's game sharp, so when he comes back to the PJ Tour, he's ready. Um, until next time, see y'all.